Good morning. We continue to see severe weather moving across Texoma as we start the day. A few very strong storms have already developed in the area. We're going to be keeping a close eye on this system that's making its way through Wilbarger and Baylor County. It's moving off towards the east and already a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for central portions of Texoma. That includes Tillman, Wilbarger, Wichita, Baylor and northern portions of Archer County. Now the system is going to continue off to the east. We also have a tornado watch in effect for Throckmorton County. That's going to be in effect until around 5 a.m. this morning. And we do have another area of concern down towards the south. Young and Jack County are also under a severe thunderstorm warning. Now the system in Young and Jack has already produced a tornado a little bit further to the south, closer to I-20. Now, as we look at the radar, we do see very intense yellows, reds and oranges, implying very strong rain across the area. Now, with this system, we do see some vertical updraft. That's going to be in those southern counties. Young is seeing some pretty good lift with these systems, meaning that we have the possibility of them to intensify. We're also seeing a good amount of thunder and lightning across the area. Most of the activity now has been making its way off towards the east. Now with the system down here, we do have a confirmed report of winds picking up to around 60 miles an hour in Throckmorton. And as it continues off towards the east, we will continue to see some very strong storms associated with this wave. Now it's going to make its way off towards the east with a few showers behind it, but we're expecting most of the activity to be out of the area by around 6 to 7 a.m. this morning. Areas in Wichita, Archer County, you can expect to see some pretty strong storms here in the next 30 minutes. And a little bit further to the east, Stevens, Jefferson, Montague, you could be seeing some of these rain showers in the next hour or two. We'll keep you guys updated on these weather events and make sure to stay tuned to KFDX for the latest weather updates. 